Hello students, welcome to our class again. This time we're going to talk about application letters. What is an application letter? An application letter is a letter used to apply for a job in a company. An application letter should reflect the applicant's personality and impress a prospective employer. An application letter is also called a cover letter because it covers or accompanies someone's resume or CV. A resume or a CV contains biodata or information about the applicant. Why do we need an application letter? We need an application letter because we want to convince the prospective employer that we are capable to do the applied job. We also need to impress the prospective employer because we want him to choose us among many other applicants. Usually, there are many applicants who are applying for one job. Using the application letter, we are convincing the prospective employer that he or she has to choose us. What should be there in an application letter? 1. Information about yourself, your name, current home address, and telephone number. 2. The date, the date when you write the application letter. 3. Contact person's name, title, employer. 4. Salutation. 5. Opening paragraph. 6. Middle paragraph or hard skills. 7. Second middle paragraph or soft skills. 8. Contact information and closing. And then the last is the signature. Before we continue, let's find out what hard skills and soft skills are. Hard skills. Hard skills are the skills that you can teach to others. For example, proficiency in foreign language, a degree or certificate, typing speed, machine operation, or computer programming. Soft skills. These skills are the skills that you need to practice and learn in the society. For example, communication skills, character, attitudes, etc. For example, communication, flexibility, leadership, teamwork, or time management. Now, let's go back to the application letter. What should be there in an application letter? The first one is contact person's name, title, and address of the employer. Mentioning a specific name in your application letter can get your letter and resume to the hiring manager more quickly and can be an effective personal touch. If you are applying for an advertised position that does not give a name to contact, you could call the company for the manager's name, of course. This is an example. George Gill Holy. Yeah, George Gill Holy is the name of the manager. And then XYZ Limited, Pacific Building, Jakarta 12345. It is the address. The next thing is salutation. Use the appropriate way to address the contact person. For example, Dear Mr. John, we use Mr. if we know that the manager is a man. We use Dear Miss Smith if we know the manager is a woman. And we know the name. And then if we don't know the name, we can use Dear Prospective Employer or Dear Sir or Madam. And don't forget, if you use Mr. or Miss, please write the last name of the person. Next, the opening paragraph. 
The opening paragraph tells how you learned about the applied position. You knew the vacancy from a classified advertisement, the internet, personal referrals, or other sources. In your letter, you can write like this. For example, I was excited to know from my classmate in junior high school that your company was hiring a new computer operator. Or, I am writing to apply for a mechanic position advertised in the Time newspaper. And please make note that you have to make sure that you mention the applied position at the beginning of the letter. The next thing is middle paragraph which contains hard skills or teachable abilities. This paragraph gives a summary of your background and critical skills or hard skills that make you qualified for the position. In this paragraph, you can mention school or courses that you have ever joined. For example, in your paragraph, you can say, I have a proper driving license and 10-year experience as a bus driver. Or, after graduating from university, I took courses in computer and accounting to sharpen my skills. Or, I can type fast and use Photoshop application. Or, with a BS degree in computer programming, I have a full understanding of the full life cycle of a software development project. I also have experience in learning and excelling that the new technologies as needed. Second middle paragraph or soft skills or interpersonal abilities. This paragraph can be used to demonstrate your persuasive skills or soft skills. For example, I am used to working with many people inside and outside of the office. I can negotiate well with clients and mostly my clients are satisfied with my designs. As a supervisor, I always make sure that all my subordinates understand the objective of the company. Another example, the key strengths that I possess for success in this position include I have successfully designed, developed, and supported life use applications. I strive for continued excellence. I provide exceptional contributions to customer service for all customers. Contact information and closing. At the end of the letter, talk about your availability for the job. For example, where you can be contacted when you are going to contact the hiring person for an appointment to discuss your application. If you have no contact name, you may simply want to indicate your anticipation for response in this part of the letter. Thank the person to whom you are writing for his or her time and consideration of your application. This is an example. I can be reached anytime via email at johndoey at emailexample.com or my cell phone 808-955-9595. Thank you for your time and consideration. I look forward to speaking with you about this employment opportunity. Signature Sign the application letter and write your name on this side. Should we use sincerely or faithfully before the signature? If you know the name of the person, for example, dear Miss Watimena or dear Mr. Mulio, then you use your sincerely. However, if you do not know the name of the person, for example, dear sir or madam, or dear prospective employer at the beginning of the letter, then at the end of the letter, you use yours faithfully. Sample letter. Okay, this is the sample job application letter. 
the first part of the letter, yeah, you can see John Dewey. It is actually the name of the applicant or the person who is writing the application letter here. And then the next is his address. And then after the data of the applicant, we continue with the date. After the date, we continue with the address of the receiver. So, George Gil Hooley is the name of the manager of the company. And then the next is the the address of the company. Next, dear Mr. Gil Hooley. So, here is the salutation. Since the writer knows the name of the manager, so he writes Mr. Gil Hooley. And because Mr. Gil Hooley is a man, then we use Mr. Let's continue with the content. So, this is the beginning of the letter. I'm writing to apply for the programmer position. So, look at this. Remember, you must mention the position applied at the beginning of the, le the letter. And then, continue with the source where you got the information about the vacancy. And then, uh, continue with the next. Yeah, we continue with the hard skill. So, with a BS degree in computer programming, so this is telling the manager, yeah, telling Mr. Gil Hooley that the applicant has ever learned computer programming. So, remember, hard skill is about the skills that you have learned or that uh, has been taught to you. And then after that is the soft skills. The key strengths that I possess for success in these positions include I have successfully designed, developed, and supported life use applications. I strive for continued excellence. I provide exceptional contributions to customer service for all customers. So, remember that the next thing after the hard skill, we use soft skills. Soft skills are the skills that you learn from your daily life activities. And then after that, continue with the closing. Please see my resume for additional information on my experience. I can be reached at any time via email at this address, etc. And then do not forget to thank the reader or thank the the manager yeah thank you for your time and consideration i look forward to speaking with you look at this i look forward to speaking remember after look forward we use verb in so look forward to speaking with you about this employment opportunity and then the last we use sincerely yeah we use sincerely because we know the name of the uh, the manager, dear Mr. Gil Hooley. Yeah, so Mr. Gil Hooley, sincerely, yeah, or sincerely yours. Okay, that's all. That is all our lesson today. Keep practicing. Thank you for your attention. God bless you all.